Alright. Although it is a little bit crooked. What up, folks? Papa Joe here with you. Playing around in the kitchen. A little bit late. But I was a cooking anyway. Uh, gonna make a meatloaf tonight. So, let me see here. Set this aside. Alright. I am going to make uh, a bacon wrap, cheese filled. Come on. Meatloaf. And let's just see how it turns out. And you know, my only concern is, and I've never done this before. Ow! This is the pair that I don't like. And that's why, because they they're made to come apart. Grandma loves them. But my only concern is uh, when the bacon grease goes rendering out, and that is the proper terminology. I learned that growing up. Uh, we used to butcher our own pigs and part of our process was rendering the fat. Alright, so let me see what I got here. And I did not get my thick cut. Yeah, that's what I'm afraid of there. So I am going to wind up double layering it. I really don't want to double layer it. However, if I put it down there, that's not going to come over very far. Don't know how much stretch I can get out of it. I get a little bit of stretch out of it. So, okay. Not ready to do that part yet, but I wanted to see what I had. So hold on. times like this I get out one towel for my cooking and I'll tell grandma this is one I've been dealing with pork I've been doing my best not to go political on y'all last week or so but I feel it in my bones coming on I've got some stuff I want to talk about no you do not need to eat that metal staple Mr. Dog Oh, I forgot to get my eggs out. Uh, this is a three pound hamburger. And uh, I went ahead and got the skillet ground. just because it was cheaper. So, quite a bit cheaper actually. They had a sale on it. So, and I can't help it. I save money wherever I can.
and this was about four dollars cheaper than the other three pound rows so this is what I went for now I did go to our HEB store not to Walmart grandma ain't been doing good this weekend and she was napping so I just eased on out and went and did what I needed to do If she had been up, we probably went to Walmart. But being she wasn't, I didn't. So, so here are three pounds of hamburger. I'm going to put probably three eggs in it, I guess, just as a binder. There we go. You might well go on in there with mama. I ain't dropping nothing for you, buddy boy. We went out to uh, one of our little places we like to eat at last night. And for those that watch my Facebook, we had frog legs for an appetizer. And I had their catfish. Be honest with you, I wasn't impressed with it. First, first time I'd got catfish there. And uh, Grandma got their country fried steak. She said it was eh, okay. Price of the bill, they both should have been damn. Now, I went ahead and I got the chili cheese Fritos. You can put whatever or nothing in these. A lot of people use breadcrumbs. I didn't want to use breadcrumbs. Uh, now, originally, my reason was because they're not on neither one of our diets. However, these Fritos aren't either. And these Fritos are a bit on the salty side so I'm not going to add salt to this at all uh, and it's up to you how much you use now we have shooting for the healthier side we have used pork skins in them uh, we've used corn flakes in them you can use whatever you so desire. I just got to think about it while I was in the store. I'm going to be putting a jalapeno cheese in the middle of it. So I decided to go with these. Alright. And I'm going to grab this dirty bowl. Ain't too often you grab a dirty bowl to cook, huh? Oh. I preheated my oven to 350. It's already preheated. Fold up my chips so I don't forget. Alright, now then. Now 
Now I know on the uh, YouTube, when I watch them cook, they do this fancy stuff where they will just show this stuff and wave their hand and it's all done. Unfortunately, you have to deal with Papa Joe. And I don't have that hand waving capabilities. Don't know that I do want it. So. And this is coast. And I even let it set out about a half hour after I got back. Just so that I would not have it so cold. You want to do this and tell your filler, whatever your filler is, is mixed through and through. And that those eggs that you did are mixed through and through. So... There we go. And yeah, I wash my hands a lot on this kind of stuff. Now then, I'm going to pause you for a minute, and uh, I'm going to line that pan you seen a minute ago, this one, with bacon. So I'm going to try stretching a little bit, and lining it, just like so. Just like that. So... When I get that line and my hands washed again, I'll be back. All right, I think it's recording again. I can't see the dead gum thing. Yep, it is. Hi. All right, trying to read it with dirty glasses. All right, now I done put my bacon in there and I put a little bit of this mixture in the bottom uh, one thing that was quite obvious to me although before I started this I took that roll and put it here and I said okay it's gonna be about enough I got another bacon uh, so I thought this amount of hamburger would fill that up. Uh, actually, it's going to be a lot more than what I wanted. So, that's not a good thing. Now I'll have to figure out what I'm going to do with my extra hamburger meat. So, so for my pan that I used, a three pound row was way too much. But I'm good with that because I will take what's left here and I'll cook down some hamburgers. I mean, I could make two of these. As you see, I just sliced my cheese in half. This is my pepper jack cheese that I'm going to place right there in the middle. 
So I could make two of these if there's enough hamburger left. I don't know that there will be. So there, I want to put that there in the end. I'll make sure I get some on this end. I'm doing the ends first so that I don't have to worry about my cheese moving on me. Put a little bit on this side here. See that cheese tried to move to the side on me. Put some more over here on this side. And I'm going to poke my fingers down through all of them real good. And that way, uh, in my mind, I'm going to make all these meats blend together where uh, when you go cutting it, it don't cut in half where I put a top and a bottom on here a while ago. Does that make sense? Oh, and I'm really not going to have that much meat left over after all. Yeah, I'm not going to have that much meat left over at all. This is what's left. So I can use all that off over here. With all this meat and this pan being this full, I am definitely going to have to put a tray underneath it. Or else I'm going to make a big mess. And I'm not going to put that on there. I'll cook that up as a hamburger here in a minute. Alright, now then. I want to take these two out. I'm going to lay him on there. Pull him down just a little bit, then fold him back, and I'm going to do this one the exact opposite. Put him on this end and fold him back. Now then, all that leftover bacon, I'm going to fold it over like so. All of this bacon I had on the sides, I'm going to fold it over just like so. Alright, now like I said, I will, my oven is set at 350, I am going to get me a cookie sheet, hold on. Now, a while ago, I uh, went to pause you on. I touched that pause up there on the screen and left a mess. The grease stain, I didn't like that. So, uh, I won't do that. All right. Going to put it on a baking sheet. Stick it in the oven for 45 minutes. 350 degrees. Let me see if I can find a... One of her bacon sheets. She has different ones she uses for different stuff. So I try not to get the wrong one. Right there. Top rack and back towards the middle. Light on. Timer for 45 minutes. There's 45 minutes. Alright, I'm going to straighten up my mess. Or clean up my mess. Uh, cook that burger. I'll be back in about 45 minutes. Bye. Nope, it didn't pull. Well, 
damn buzzer's going off, driving me crazy. Just the pretty ones. I'd rather use these. I can't help it. Oh! Damn it. I got a Charlie horse in my foot. Folks, I am glad I put a tray under this. And it has swelled up. Grandma, walk in here a minute. You ain't got to get in front of the camera, and yes, I'm recording. I think it needs to go a bit more myself. I'll bring you folks down where you can see it better. <coughs> I can't see the camera. Okay, there. Y'all can see it in there. See here on the edge, it looks like we got a little blood or something still. Okay, yeah. Ain't that a little blood over there? Yeah. Still showing some blood running out of it? Yep. It was a big old yeah, and it swelled up. I thought it would shrink down. It swelled up. That. Uh, how much longer you reckon? At least fifteen. What do you think? Uh, Twenty or more? Maybe even up to a half hour. I'll you think you have? We'll do a fifteen and we'll check it. Yeah, I agree. Oh. Yes, man. The old woman talked about stuff. Don't neither one of us pretend to be a know-it-all. Even though I do know it all, I just don't let her know that. Alright, another 15 minutes. I'd set it for 45, so this is an hour. I'll be back. So. I don't think so either. Yeah, I don't think so. See how it's all coming out of there just in streams? Yeah. I mean, the bacon looks done. It's pulled back a lot more than I really wanted it to. I should have went ahead and... Put some across the top? Well, I did. But instead of doing it a different way, I could have ah, doubled up on how much bacon I used. All right, I'm going to do another 15. It's another 15, so it's an hour and 15. Be back. All right, folks, we gave it another 15, as you've seen. And there it is. Uh, had a bunch of grease on here, poured into that skillet, grease, whatever it was. Uh, we're calling it done. It is pulled away from the edges. Both ends. Grandma poked it right there. It's not bacon covered on top like I had planned. If I'd stopped with the bacon down here and left it longer and so use two pieces, one on each side, instead of trying to cheat like I did. Then it would have been a better bacon cover. It is what it is. I do have cheese down in there. So we're going to let it rest, and uh, or else I'd let you see it cut. There we go. You hear Judge Jeannie in there in the back? 
in the background, we're watching her. Uh, <clears throat> just a little something I wanted to try. I'd seen a version of it online, which is what made me say, wow, that sounds pretty good. So I tried it like this. I didn't like the cheese that they had used. And I tried to cheat on my bacon to make it go farther. Next time I won't. Next time I'll just put a whole piece in the bottom and I'll do it more like they did. Maybe that's why they did it the way they did it. Uh, and I, like I said, I didn't like their cheese, so I put pepper jack in it. They used breadcrumbs. I didn't want to. I used the Fritos. So, you know, that's the thing about cooking. I've told so many people when I had my cookbook I was doing that turned into that blog, uh, Cross Country Cooking with Papa Joe, uh, I would tell people, you know, there's no specific recipe for this stuff. Somebody somewhere cooked a meatloaf and then the rest of us all just, oh, well, I don't like that uh, ingredient or that seasoning or how they did it. Let me try to do it my way. And that's all cooking is. And this is someone else's idea that I changed up into my idea. Now, you change it up into your idea. With that, remember, good Lord loves you, so do I. Y'all have a good evening. I hope I see you in the morning for morning services. Good night now.